A race to the moon. It may sound like a story dating back to the 60s, but it's happening right now. China is the only country that has landed on the far side of the moon. New at 4.30, the next space race between the U.S. and China. And this is when China landed a spacecraft on the far side of the moon. It happened yesterday. Good afternoon. I'm Greg Warman. And I'm Darlene Jones. It is a short mission, but the country intends to collect rock and oil samples from the region for the very first time in history. Channel 9's Melanie Holt is live on our Space Coast. And Mel, NASA is also working right now to learn more about the resources the moon's south pole may hold. But right now, it's China that's on that sampling mission, rock and soil samples they'll be collecting over the next couple of days. But ultimately, China and the U.S. have the very same goal, to land astronauts at the moon's south polar region. A Chinese spacecraft has landed on the far side of the moon. China is the only country that has landed on the far side of the moon. And now they have a sample return mission. So the, for the second time they're landing, we haven't even done this once. It's a tremendous technological achievement. Chinese scientists landed their spacecraft named after the Chinese goddess of the moon and a crater known as the Apollo Basin. The spacecraft will try to extract some of the oldest known rocks to exist on the lunar south pole and an area that is also of great interest to NASA. It will tell them the, the age, it will tell them the composition. In a recent appearance before a U.S. Senate committee, NASA Administrator Bill Nelson didn't mince words about America's next space race. We are in a space race with China. Uh, the staff of this committee has already received an intelligence briefing. Next year, NASA intends to launch its Artemis II mission, sending four astronauts on a journey around the moon in preparation for America's next moon landing. China has plans to put its own astronauts on the moon before 2030. The goal is to land where the ice water is, okay? When we do find it, um, then you have, you can live off the land. You have rocket fuel and you have breathing air and you have water you can drink. And you might remember a private U.S. company launched its own lunar spacecraft earlier this year. It was an imperfect landing. And next, you'll hear more about NASA's lunar aspirations. I'll have that for you coming up on Eyewitness News at 530. Live here in Titusville, Melanie Holt, Channel 9 Eyewitness News.